As calls start to come in, Zoom Phone puts dynamic features right at your fingertips. Here's a call coming in now. A pop-up appears showing the caller and the choice to either accept or decline the call. If the call comes in directly to you, nothing will look out of the ordinary. However, if you are a member of a call queue or a shared line group, different information and options will appear here. I'll click on Accept, which closes the pop-up message and opens the Zoom desktop application right to Zoom phone. Here, the caller ID information is shown and you can click to see further details about the caller. Also shown is a running timer logging the duration of the current call and rows of additional options followed by the red phone button to end the call. In the upper right corner, we can click to see if enhanced encryption is active for this call and the current level of call quality. Clicking on keypad gives you access to enter numbers during the call. For example, maybe you need to press one to reach the sales department or press zero to reach an operator. When in use, the keypad replaces your basic in-call options, but you can navigate back by clicking on Hide Keypad. To mute or unmute your microphone at any time, click the Mute button. If you need to change your audio settings mid-call, you can click on Audio, which will open up the Zoom desktop application settings. Quickly select a different speaker or microphone to use during your call and even boost your background noise suppression if things around you are noisier than usual. I'll click to close the settings window to return back to the active call. To add an additional person to the call, click on add call to search for a specific contact or dial a number to include them in the conversation. The current call is put on hold as you connect with the additional phone number. When ready, click the Merge button to add the two separate calls together. By clicking on the caller ID information, I can easily see who is involved in this particular call and drop one of them as necessary. From time to time, you might need to place a call on hold. Once clicked, the caller will hear hold music until you take them off of hold. To transfer a call to another number, Click on Transfer to enter the name or number to send the call to. Once you have picked who to transfer the call to, a box appears giving you three options. A warm transfer allows you to speak to the new agent privately before transferring the call. This is great because it allows you to bring them up to speed regarding the call, hopefully providing a better overall experience for the caller and the new agent taking over the call. The second option is a direct transfer. This option connects the call immediately to the new agent or number, which can speed things up, but might not be as friendly to the caller or the new agent. The final option is to transfer the call straight to the individual's voicemail. To record a call for later reference or review, click record. This call is being recorded. An audible alert is played to inform everyone that the call is being recorded. Recorded calls can easily be referenced in the history subsection to the left once they are completed. If you happen to make multiple recordings during a single call by starting and stopping the recording, you will get a single merged recording file once the call has completed. Tucked under more are additional options. One feature to highlight is the ability to park a call. Parking a call is similar to transferring a call. However, in this case, rather than transferring the call to a specific person, the call is placed in a hold-like state and a code is generated. Once a call is parked, navigate to the lines subsection where you will see the call parked, how long it has been parked, and the code to retrieve the call. Since I parked this call, I can also pick it up by clicking on the blue phone button. Anyone who enters the parked call's code will be connected with the call. 
Sometimes a call requires more than just audio, and you can elevate a call to a Zoom meeting with a single click of the Meet button. If the other person is using Zoom, they will see a meeting invite pop up on their screen to join the meeting. It's straightforward and easy. However, if they are on a typical phone, they will join the Zoom meeting as an audio-only participant. Nothing will seem different for them, but now you can add as many people to the call turned meeting as your meeting's license allows. Anyone who is an audio-only participant can be identified in two ways. First, only a phone will appear in the participants list next to their name, and secondly, a phone icon will show where a profile picture or their video would normally display. Should an audio-only attendee want or need to see what is happening in the meeting, in the participants window, click on invite to use a variety of methods to send them the meeting invitation. In just a few clicks, so many exciting features are available with Zoom Phone.